trying to cop me a new chain. Add with the block where we move things. Yeah. Black mask, call me Bruce Wayne. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Blazing Games. And today, you guessed it, we are back with another video. And we are going to be doing a what if game. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is a series that I started like I think last month where we take a franchise or franchises and fuse them in together and try to make an awesome game. So we're going to do the same thing again today. And today we are going to have a huge, huge game. Like this is going to be like, if this happens, this will be an awesome game. I guarantee it. So with that in mind, you know, keep an uh, open mind with this series. This is not anything that I know that's going to happen. This is not, you know, anything that I've been given information about. This is just my idea. This is me just being a huge game nerd that I am and trying to bring in some future games into the world. You know, some people might like it, some people may not, but, you know, it is what it is. So, the What If series is where we take a franchise or any type of fighting game and we try to fuse it to make an awesome game or we'll take franchises like comic books and superheroes and stuff like that and try to make a good awesome game so we did this before with um dc versus marvel so we're going to do the same thing again today so before we get into the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new make sure the bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my videos So let's start with the game, the franchises that we're going to start with, I should say. This is unscripted, by the way. <laughs> so let's start off with, with the Xbox Series X and the PS5 on the horizon coming out in September, I mean, I'm about to say September, around November 10th and November 12th. This would be a pretty good time for these franchises to meet. And have one of the biggest clash of all times. I am talking about a really brutal game. With these developers, I think this can happen. The brutal there will be a lot of brutality in this game, trust me. So we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat versus Killer Instinct. These are my two favorite franchises of all times. Now, I fell in love with Killer Instance by accident. Short story, back in the 90s when the Super Nintendo first came out, it was two versions. It was the Killer Instance version and the Super Mario All-Stars. Those of you who can remember that, awesome. Those of you who don't, it's, you know, you get a Super Nintendo and you had a game that came with it, either Killer Instance or Mario All-Stars. I was supposed to get the Mario All-Stars version, but my dad got the Killer Instance version. So Christmas morning I opened it, I'm like, what is this black cartridge? Like, I don't want this. I popped it in, started playing it, and I fell in love with it instantly. Like, th that was my first fighting game that I actually fell in love with and loved. And I still love it to this day. And I will body anybody on the Super Nintendo version. Come at me, bro. I dare you. But that's another video for another time. But Mortal Kombat vs. Killer Instance will be a great, great what if game. Like if Ed Boon get together with the creators of um, Killer Instance, this game would be so great. It would be so awesome. I would love to see this. Like we could finally settle all these disputes like who was better. We can see who's who's the better person, who's better, uh, like, TJ Combo versus Jax. Uh, Jago versus Sub-Zero versus Scorpion versus Reptile. Whoever the character. So, I am going to give you guys my character list for this awesome game to come true. But before we get into the character roster, um, I will say this. If Ed Boon and all the guys get together with this, the story mode would be amazing. The features would be awesome. The online gameplay would be great. 
it would be a one-on-one -on -one situation. We wouldn't have tag teams or anything like that. It would just be one-on-one. -on -one. And instead of fatalities, they can have brutalities. Like, you know, Killer Isis have um, ultra combos. We can bring the ultra combos and the brutalities from the old Mortal Kombat games and fuse it into one and call it a ultra brutality. That would be so freaking epic. Like, the whole things that people can come up with it will be amazing. Again, this is a what if. Okay? This is a what if. Again, this is a what if. The idea that popped in my head and I'm making a video about it. So, I am going to break down and give you guys the 20 characters from the Mortal Kombat side. And then you know how we do this. On Thursday, we'll do the other side, which will be Killer Instant side. So, the character roster will be 40 characters. And we will have another video later down the line later on for a DLC character roster. Like, we'll do a DLC. You know what? If y'all want to see a DLC video of this, get this video up to about... 125 likes and I will do a DLC video up on this game so without further ado let's get to the character roster shall we Mortal Kombat character roster up first come on now y'all already know that was coming Scorpion you can't have a Mortal Kombat game or a Mortal Kombat versus game without Scorpion and you know who, who you already know who's coming up next. So y'all can't have a game without these two characters. These are the franchise players of the Mortal Kombat universe. So I will start off the character roster with Scorpion. Um, you know, Scorpion the Scorpion is gonna be a great asset, good tools, good neutrals, all that good stuff. I will also have his ultra brutality as he was in the um Mortal Kombat 3 Brutality. That was pretty amazing. I love that brutality. That's one of my favorite brutalities in Mortal Kombat. So I would have him I would have another room do something like that with his chains and all this other stuff to make a pretty good brutality. And you know, other than that, Scorpion will always be Scorpion. I'm pretty sure another one would do a pretty decent job of doing that. So I have no problems with that whatsoever. Up next, Sub Zero. Will be up next. I think Sub Zero is the most most popular character in Mortal Kombat. Even though I don't, you know, it's Scorpion and Sub Zero. Like you just can't have the game without these two characters in the game whatsoever. So, I mean, we all pretty know these two are going to be a given in the roster. There's no way in game in hell that you would have a Mortal Kombat versus game without Scorpion and Sub Zero. It's just not possible. It's just madness so we're not gonna we're not gonna do that we're gonna keep scorpion and sub-zero in this game i think that would be pretty cool to see sub-zero versus galatius um to see who is the king of freeze i guess <laughs> so sub-zero will be in the category and being in the roster that was the number two pick for me of course you know it is what it is it's sub -Zero. You just can't have a game without these two. Sorry. You, you just can't. So let's go on to the next character. The God of Thunder, Raiden. You know, I really would like to see Raiden really run amok in this game. I think Raiden will be like one of the most unique characters in this game, honestly. His teleporting, his lightning powers, you know, I think... Raiden should be very combo heavy in this game, especially when it comes to the ultra brutalities. I really would like to see Raiden really show out. Like, I just want him to show up and just show out. Like, have his nutsack running through the whole entire Killer Instance roster. You know, I just want to see Raiden be Raiden. Like, we've never seen Raiden really, really show out, show out. Except for that Mortal Kombat 11 intro uh well announcement trailer that's when he was really showing up by beating scorpion's ass but 
I like Raiden, so let's see Raiden in this game, shall we? Up next, the chosen one, Liu Kang. I mean, he's the champion of justice. He's the champion of Mortal Kombat. Everybody likes Liu Kang. Everybody wants to see Liu Kang goes crazy, but I feel as though Liu Kang is overrated in my opinion. That's just me. I don't. I never liked Liu Kang. He was never one of my favorite characters. Like I just like, I like real. I like other characters that other people don't like. Like you know, Katana, Jade, you know, Chameleon, people like that. Like Liu Kang. Uh, everybody always picks up Liu Kang because they like Liu Kang because he's always he's the hero. I don't like the hero. I like the villains in video games. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. But Liu Kang is good enough to make a pick. You know, he's good enough to be inside this game. So I did pick Liu Kang in this game to make everybody in the gaming universe happy. So up next, we are going to have his counterpart. Up next, we will have Kung Lao. I think Kung Lao will be extremely combo heavy in this type of a game. Like, he is like one of them characters you know is going to show out with combos. Like, if you see Kung Lao in the game, you know Kung Lao got combos. I don't like Kung Lao. Uh, I honestly don't like Kung Lao. Like, he made me mad in Deception. Uh, it, it, I, it's, me and Kung Lao got a history together. That's all I got to say. Like, I never liked Kung Lao. Me and him, we got beef since Mortal Kombat Deception. So... No, not the subject. Deadly Alliance. I would say Deadly Alliance. That's when we had our beef. Deadly Alliance was when me and Kung Lao had beef. I don't. This is when I started. This is when I hated Kung Lao. So, but I like Kung Lao enough because I know he will have combos for days. So I like to see people have wild, crazy combos, showing off some really crazy skills with Kung Lao. So I do respect his combo, his combo skills in video games, and I like people who plays with him. That you never know who was going to do what. It's exciting. I like that. And I like a challenge when people pick Kung Lao. So it's a love-hate relationship between me and Kung Lao. So Kung Lao, congratulations. You made it to the game. And you're not DLC. As much as I wanted to pin him as DLC. He made it to the main roster. Good job. Up next, Sonya Blade. Because we already know Sonya will really pivot on you. Sonya is one of those characters where you know she's like she's she's more complicated, but she has combos as well. She has hitting combos. A lot of people take a lot of time and effort and putting it into perfecting it, and then she becomes a combo beast. She's like that in Mortal Kombat X. She was like that in Mortal Kombat Eleven. She was like that in Mortal Kombat Nine. So, in this game, I'm pretty sure she'll be the same way. Combo heavy, super, super, super fast, good, neutrals, special moves will be on point. And her ultra brutality will be amazing. Like, I'll, I don't know how, I think I will do a video on how I think ultra brutality would look like. So, I'm going to do that later on in probably like the next month or so. So, yeah, let's put Sonya in this game and let's keep the combo thing at bay, shall we? <laughs> I'm such a nerd. So, let's go with the next character, shall we? Katana, the queen of Outworld. And my most favorite character, female ninja of all times. I gotta put her in this game because she's my favorite character. And not to mention is Mortal Kombat, so I'm pretty sure she's going to be in this game regardless. But Katana will be a super... I think she'll be exactly what y'all think she's going to be. She's going to be combo queen times two on this one. Because if they go, on, if they go with the killer instant combo system, which I think they should do. I want This, this is how I'm going to do it. This, this game is going to be based on the killer instant combo system. So, therefore, her combos will be freaking insane. All her combos will be great, fast, dealing with her fans, all her special abilities. Everything will be pretty up and up, and it will be a good mix-up for her to be in this game. So, let's go with the next character, her sister, 
Molina. The same thing with Katana, you know. She'll be pretty much fast. I think she'll be a little bit more rushed down than anything else, especially with the whole Raphael thigh things going for her. And I think she will be a little bit more edgier than Katana would be. If that, that if that makes any sense. So of course I'm gonna put Melina in this game. I love Melina as much as I love Katana. And I think that of all the female ninjas, these two are the best female ninjas and most popular female ninjas in the Mortal Kombat series. So it would make sense for me to pit her in this game right next to Katana. And I know this is off topic, but you know, hashtag pit Melina in Mortal Kombat eleven. Shameless plug. Up next, Cassandra Cage. I wasn't going to pair her in this game because I wanted to be like, I wanted to do more of a Mortal Kombat 3 roster. But I just could not help by pitting Cassie in this game because I love Cassie. Like, <laughs> I just fell in love with her in Mortal Kombat X. Like, I just can't not picture me having a Mortal Kombat game without seeing Cassie in the mix. So I picked Cassie in this game based on. Her popularity alone. And I think she would be more of a edgy type of person. And she's pretty much taken over for Johnny Cage. Because Johnny Cage is not in this game. And the story... And the, if I do decide to do the story, which I am trying... I think I'm going to write the story plot out. Johnny Cage is dead. So she'll be taking Johnny Cage's spot. Up next, Devorah. I need a weird, I need a weird character in this game to balance out all the rush down and heavy combo fiend type things. So I think Devorah would be the one that pretty much throw the game in a loop, <laughs> so to speak. And I think it would be a uh, kind of weird to see Devorah in this type of an atmosphere, type of a game like this. But you know, you never know. She might be the baddest character in the game. It is what it is. This is a what if, by the way, and this is my character roster. I will let y'all do your character roster at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Up next, Jade. Jade is, you know, Jade is Jade. I think her abilities will speak for themselves. I think she is one of the underrated female ninjas in Mortal Kombat. A lot of people sleep on her. A lot of people don't like her. A lot of people don't want to see her in games, but, you know, me, I love Jay. I fell in love with Jay ever since I played Mortal Kombat 2, and you had a secret fight, and she beat your ass in the woods. So, well, the dead forest. So, I put Jay in this game based on, you know, my feelings for her and, well, not my feelings, but, you know, my love for the character, and I think we need... Not to mention, I want to balance out the game. Like, a lot of fighting games, we have in all these male characters and not enough female characters. So, you know, if y'all noticed that my fighting games, I put a lot of female characters in the game. Just because I like female characters. So, let's continue on with the next female character. Queen of Adenia. The evil queen herself. Sindel. Like... Sindel is a badass character, but like, come on, like, we, we all know how good she is, she's just a badass, and to me, you cannot have a fighting game without a badass female character, she fits that category, everybody loves Sindel, I love Sindel, my wife loves Sindel, everybody loves Sindel, she is good, she's good to stay, she's cool, I love her, her combos will be good, so let's go on with the next character, shall we? Nightwolf. I put Nightwolf in the game. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I put, her, I put him right next to Sandel, the woman that killed him. But <laughs> but I put Nightwolf in this game because, again, uh, the same thing with Devor. You know, a uh, change of atmosphere, you know, change of rush down and, you know, all this type of stuff. I think Nightwolf would be like more of a wait and see character. Like he'll wait for you to attack and then make it make and then he'll make his moves. That's the type of character I want Nightwolf to be. More, you know, command grab, I would say. Command grab character. That's how I will make Nightwolf. 
Up next, Kano. It's kind of rare that I speak highly of Kano, but Kano is a beast. I like Kano. I started playing with Kano a little bit in uh, the Mortal Kombat uh, Combat League, and I was kind of digging Kano for a minute. You know, I like Kano. His combos is good. I like him as a character. He's funny. He's always one of them characters just there just to get money, and I kind of like Kano because of that, because, you know, you never know who's not. He's only on the side that benefits him. So, I like Kano, and I think it would be a good thing to see Kano in this type of atmosphere, see what side he would lean towards, because if they do the story mode, Kano is a dick, so I'm pretty sure Kano will probably stiff Mortal Kombat in the end, just to be on the winning side, if anything comes to it, but Kano is in this game, he will be a good look, his combo, his, oh my god, his uh, ultra brutality will be amazing, up next, Aaron Black, I don't like Aaron Black. Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11 really made me hate this character. Because I just don't like him. People just abuse his... He He's like the Cable of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's who, he, that's who he is to me. He's the new Cable. But I'm putting him in this game because I'm actually going to make him a combo-heavy character. Not no keep-away character. He's going to throw down with his hands. I'm sick of this keep-away crap. So I made him different. I'm making him different. He's a rush down, in-your-face type of character. Up next, Jax. Jax is Jax. I mean, you know, we're not going to change anything with Jax. We're going to make him more... We're going to make him, uh, again, another uh, command grab character. You know, with all the same abilities he had in Mortal Kombat 11 with his arms heating up. You know, do more damage. And then when you get them all, you gotta... Like, for him, I would make his arms... His arms gotta be a level 4 in order to do the ultra brutality. That's how I would make Jax. And, you know, that would be amazing when he do it. And then the end of the joint, his, the, your opponent's body blows up. <laughs> Next. Aramak. I like Aramak. He's cool. He's all right. Let me stop lying. I can't. I I, I don't see the appeal of Aramak. I, I never did. I don't know how he had so many fans. I can see why some people like him. I know why Angry Joe like him. I know why a couple of my um cousins like him. But I, me personally, I just feel as though he's just a green ninja. Like a he's like a. Shang Tsung Ninja, I guess you can call it that. So I'll put Aramek in the in the game basically because of fan his fan base alone. That was it. Reptile. I put Reptile in the game because I like Reptile. I miss Reptile. I won him in Mortal Kombat 11, but seeing as I'm not going to get him in Mortal Kombat 11, I am going to put him in Mortal Kombat versus Killer Instance. So that way I get Reptile one way or another because. In Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat X, I was secretly playing with Reptile and I was having a I was having fun with him. I was having a lot of fun with him actually. And I feel as though he's just like he'll be just like Scorpion and Sub Zero and Aramak, a ninja character, rush down, in your face type of character, combo heavy, you know, re and really, really fast, like he is in Mortal Kombat 1. Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung, with his ability to shift, shape shift into other people, I want that in the game. Like, I want to be able to pick Shang Tsung and somebody pick somebody like Orchick or Jago, and I could just transform into they transform into that character and just beat them with their own character. That's the type of, that's what I want Shang Tsung to have, along with his own fighting style. That would be Shang Tsung to me. I would like to see Shang Tsung in the game. I am a huge Shang Tsung fan. He is one of my favorite sorcerers in Mortal Kombat. I don't like Quan Chi. I'm with Shang Tsung. He's one of my favorite bad guys in this game. I love him to death. And he is one of my mains in Mortal Kombat 11. So we're going to continue and end this video off with the last character of all 
of all of all characters, we're going to bring Shao Kahn into the game. I don't know what you're thinking. Why Shao Kahn? Why would you make Shao Kahn the last character selection? Simple. He's a boss character. And I think we should have a boss battle. I think Shao Kahn should face Idol. And we need to see who will win between Shao Kahn and Idol. I don't think Shao Kahn could beat Idol. But it'll be good to see. You know, Shao Kahn will be, you know, big, powerful character. Not too many, not too much combo strains and stuff like that. But, you know, his power and his mallet will be the one that gives him more of an edge. So, you know, mallet versus mallet. Who would win? Shao Kahn or Idol? As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments down below who you think will win between Shao Kahn and Idol. Mallet versus mallet. Who will win? If I had to choose right now, I would say Idol would win. You know, because he got two heads. You know, two heads better than one. Yeah, that was the worst joke you'll ever hear from me. I'll, I'll stop. But, you know, make sure you like this video. Click the bell. Subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Let me know in the comments down below who is your... Let me know in the comments down below who would y'all choose for the Mortal Kombat side of this game? Mortal Kombat side only. Who would y'all pick in this game? Mortal Kombat versus Killer Instant. We're going to do the Mortal Kombat side only, people, okay? Mortal Kombat only. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later. I'm trying to cop me a new chain. Chat with the block when we move things. Yeah. Black mask, call me Bruce Wayne. Black shades like I'm Johnny Cage. Yeah. Baby girl, these designer frames. They not from here, they Italian made. My main chick look like Sonya.